we're back. It's time for the losers match. It's time to eliminate somebody from the GSL. We've got two Zergs. Um, Sue and DRG is where this match is gonna go. The winner will go up against Shin. Shin did look pretty phenomenal against DRG. It was kind of an unusual series. There were some real misplays there from DRG. If I had to guess going into this, just based off what we saw here in Group A, um, I'd say Sue looks stronger. What do you think? Wow. That's a bold prediction. I mean, DRG, we were talking about this at the beginning of the show. He does kind of feel like a, a wild card. You don't know if he's going to be in top form. If he's going to show up and make his way to the quarterfinals. You don't know if he's going to be the first player out of the group. And from what we saw against Shin, I'm right there with you. It was pretty shaky, but in those series happen. And I kind of... I find it hard to call between these two because on paper, DRG absolutely favored against Sue. Sue's really been struggling since he came back from military service, but that first series Sue played against Maru was so impressive. I think I might be with you, yeah. Yeah, th that's what I'm basing it off of. It's like right now he looks on point. You can hang with Maru, you can hang with anybody. DRG did not look impressive. Shin just kind of ran circles around him. Uh, interesting CVZs, no doubt. We're gonna load up game number one and get our losers match underway. Sue versus DRG is starting now. Okay, Sue in the top right, DRG in the bottom left. And you are efficient. Get it out of the way. <laughs> That's who's who. Um, okay. Very quick hatchery on the low ground here for DRG. Yeah, 15 Obviously, um, you know, we're always looking for when the pool is going to come down. That kind of uh, signals to us what potential the early game could have as far as attacks. Yeah, DRG, it seems like he's opting for one of the more safer openers here in ZVZ. 15 hatch, 15 pool. Gets your lings and your, your first two queens out about as fast as possible. One of the trending safe openers. And it, it makes sense to me to have that approach here against Sue because I feel like DRG probably considers himself the better player. But he should not lose to Sue. Mm -hmm. And so I wouldn't be surprised if he just tried to play a little bit of a tighter, safer game, especially in the early game. I mean, later on, anyone can be aggressive. Of course, it's the way ZBZ goes, but I don't think DRG wants to get shaken up quite the same way he did in his first series against Shin, because that was kind of a disaster, especially was, in game number bad. two. It was bad for sure. Um, I don't think the ZBZ is going to be as long as some other ZBZs, too. Sue has always been very good at kind of closing ZBZs out. I think he's very strong in the mid game and has good openings in the early game. Um, DRG as well. I mean, he makes a lot of pretty sharp tech choices. All right, both players macroing up. Similar builds right now. No one's been able to start circling speed just yet. Sue will have a slight edge on that, maybe 15, 20 seconds faster than DRG, and that's more or less a choice there by DRG. He saturated his gas quite slowly there, focusing on the mineral. So certainly looks to be a bit more defensive here in the early game than his opponent. And Sue might be able to leverage having a faster speed into this third hatchery. And my question is whether DRG is going to continue to try and mirror this and go for a third hatch of his own, or if he's more content to just kind of sit on two bases and play it very, very safe. We also saw this kind of faking play on, on two bases where there's like Ling all ins coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't quite get the block. That was cute but, though. But this like, uh, you know, red herring wall in where they'll start the wall in, but they're making Ling's behind that. I don't know if we're going to have it here today, but it's uh, it's been fun to see them try that out. I'm sure we'll see Shin do it again. <laughs> whichever whichever well, player layer gets starts. the privilege. Layer. Oh yeah, look at that. Sue did not scout it. 20 links. Oh, wow. From Sue. So, With the Baneling Nest as well. Yeah, this is going to be very aggressive. Roach Warren only just now coming down for you, DRG. That might be a little bit too late. This is, um, oh, God, he's getting two gases. So he's, like, trying to get into that air tech. Um, this is a big uh, 
opening. I mean, it's a two queen opening, but you know, you can crack that open pretty fast. Both Ooh. queens are going to be eating a lot of damage. You don't you don't really have the kind of surface area edge. He can try to full plug it up, or he can, I guess, make kind of a hallway setup. Yeah, I would be surprised if he didn't build even more evolution chambers behind yeah. this because the Bailing Bus is coming in right now. Oh, the oh! evolution chamber instantly gets taken out by the Bailing. Surround on both queens, transfuse this, not going to be enough as they both get taken out. And it's just drones and queens here for DRG. Yeah, I mean, the drones could do what they can to hang on, but their numbers are dropping so fast, and that's going to be it. GG. Sue takes game one. Wow. That's a change of pace from those Maru games. Yeah. How many how many of those games are you back into yeah. game three of Maru position? Yeah. Oh. Man, DRG is looking a little bit shaken up today. Well, he's just not able to get a good read in the early game. I mean, there is something to be said when you just die to Lings at the start of each game. He did, um, I mean, obviously, you know, the tech that he had planned out was to go, um, you know, into the layer tech, probably get mutas. We've seen him do that a lot to great success. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Baneling setup was perfect. It detonated in such a way where it wasn't really about the Banelings killing drones or Lings. It was killing those buildings that were morphing in that don't have that much HP because the Lings around can take care of the rest. We're going to go into game two now on site Delta. Sue played that so smart, too. He just sent four speedlings forward to make it look like he wasn't going for the all-in. Yeah. Those are the ones that turn to the banelings. And as soon yeah. as they hatch, that's when the main wave hits. I mean, that's a brilliantly executed build. If Sue has some more tricks up his sleeve like that, he might be able to take down DRG and go into the final match. Let's get ready to go to game number two on Site Delta. It's a song, this is a song, man. <laughs> I gotta pay more attention. Okay, game two. Doodle up. <laughs> you guys like know the words. Sing, doodle sing up. along with me, everybody. Uh, we got Sue at the <coughs> I'm sorry, Sue, Sue in the top left. DRG in the bottom right. Doodle up. So That can't be the lyrics. Oh, I don't know but what the does word is. Sound it does like sound like they're saying doodle do up. Doodle up. Uh, all right, both players opening 16 hatch this time. No 15 hatch, 15 yep. pool. Mirrored builds here. Of course, we can see aggression later on. Mm -hmm. um, ZVZ's been pretty explosive as of late. Yeah, it's hard to call, really, what kind of opening you're going to see from a um, player. Based on the scouting information, like, Sue there going for the fast third hatch. It could be for macro play. It could be a feign. It could just be for extra larva for a Ling Flood, as we saw. It's tough to make reads. It's one of the reasons why ZBZ is a matchup that is so volatile, even at the pro level, is... I mean, one of the hardest things to do in this matchup is play a safe macro game and outplay your opponent doing that, because you don't know whether they're cutting corners and being greedy. You don't know whether they're going for all-ins exactly to try and kill you. And it's one of the reasons why, I mean, Solar, for a while now, in my opinion, has had the best ZBZ. You watch him play games, and he does some tomfoolery like he, he will go oh, for yeah. the craziest all-ins they they look like they aren't reliable they don't make sense but he's able to play his cards in such a fashion that you truly don't know what to expect in any given game and so for Sue in this series to open up in game number one with a build like that one I think that's really smart not even just to win the map but to win the set to kind of get under DRG's skin especially after the first series with Shin where DRG lost in a very similar way yeah, Solar, uh, you know, he'll do macro builds or, or, or just one base crazy all-ins. He's also very good post all-in, if the game didn't end, playing it out correctly, which is its own skill in of itself. So mirrored, even the double lings are meeting in the middle at the same time. Both players go for the triple hatch as well. 32 supply. <laughs> this is like... It's like playing Mario Kart or one of those one of those racing games where like you're trying to race your ghost <laughs> and yeah, like be yeah. your personal best. <laughs> Even the Ling movement, it's identical. Yeah. Bailing timings. Now that Ling's gonna shoot a turtle shell out and take <laughs> out those ones chasing him. Even the bailing nests are going around. 
uh, just about the same time. This is about as mirrored as it gets. Down to the larva. It is kind of nice when you get really wow. mirrored builds. Like yeah. in every possible way to see, okay, when does the deviation come in? Pretty even with drones and uh, links here. Yeah, DRG is droning up a little bit more than his opponent. And Sue, it, it Sue, seems here we like go. he's once again gearing up for aggression. I'm sure this time that third base is going to be a big target. Yeah, it, you know, there are disadvantages when you're on three bases to two. Two, you can at least like hunker down and try to barricade yourself in with Evo Chambers and Queens. With three, it gets tricky. You could try to hit that third base if that creates an opening over at the natural. Uh, you can run in there. So it's a real balancing act for the other player. GRG already has some mainlings morphed in here at the third base, and he's pulling the queens out. So he should be OK in the defense against these lings. Just one mainling out right now for Sue. But the Roach Warren is here. So there's a chance. Oh, no, you can't get back on creep. The mainlings, though. Oh, man. Able to push him away. A little dicey here for Sue. He's not really able to get much done yet. We have the Roach Warren coming down here to further um, blockade the entrance. And I think this is really smart coming with these Roaches because if DRG is anticipating a full-on Ling attack, he has the right response. He has the Banelings. He has the Lings. He can defend. But Sue, even before this attack commenced, was already preparing for the Roach follow-up. This is the real killing blow that he is going for. And DRG only just now seeing these Roaches pop is going to have wind of this. Is Roach Warren a little bit more delayed? He's throwing down spine crawlers and the natural That's expansion. That's interesting. So I don't think he's confident with his third base. The placement of that spine crawler, you know. Um, will he just sack it and, and try to, you know, walk this, uh, this setup back? I don't know. He's only making five roaches. Sue already has more than oh, that right now on the map. Oh, he can get in the, the way his queen. Oh, no way. He's able to body block with the lings. He can't yeah, get back on the creep. Yeah, he can't get there. That that little uh, spot in between, he can't get in the cover. The oh. lings are going to spill through again. I can't talk. They're going to spill through again. He gets the kill on both of those. I think that may be game against State. He's even on top of the spine crawler. All the drones are going down. Roaches are popping right now out of the natural hatchery, and more reinforcements coming from the main. But it feels like the damage is already done. Sue just continuing to reinforce with this position. The drones are getting pulled. Five have fallen. And Sue still has more roaches. I don't know if there's going to be enough reinforcements. That might just be it. No, this game's over. I don't think there's any recovery from this. The queen falls again. That's going to be a GG. Sue speed running his way through the losers match. And that's going to be it for DRG. Coming up next, Sue versus Shin. Wow. This entire series was faster than I, Game 3 of Mars. Oh, I know. I, I feel like we barely got to wrap our heads around ZVZ. I'm still wondering if Mario's going to have to mech this time and have an inefficient push the mid-game only to win later on. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. We're in the other match after that. Sue versus Shin is going to be coming up next. Another ZVZ. Well, Both these players have been really aggressive today. And for DRG, honestly, a heartbreaking way to go out. Three yeah. of those losses all to relatively similar all-ins. I feel like basically none of those games got past, what, the five or six or seven minute mark? Just over in a flash. That hurts. That was something else, man. Okay. Well, that's that, guys. I don't know. If you make units and they don't, man, you know <laughs> how it ends, right? Up next, guys, Shin vs. Sue. We'll be right back after the short break. So hold on to the highs while you're all right. 
Cause you know you're gonna come down Just a matter of time and you will find Everything comes back around Comes back around